Hi, this is Robin from Apple iPhone Apps, and I'm here to bring you another first look at iStylist Makeover by Styler Design. Right now, it's offered at the App Store for an intro price of 99 cents, but only until November 30th. This application offers over 110 different hairstyles to basically help you pick a new hairstyle for yourself or even for a friend. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, upon entering iStylist, it comes up with three options. You can either take a new photo, use a safe photo, or use a model. I'm going to go ahead and choose use a safe photo because then it gives me an option to choose through my entire photo library. All right, now you really want to choose a photo that features your face mostly. And let's pick a good one here. All right. Oh, here's one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and choose my friend Kate. Now, in this screen, it basically gives you the option to adjust the photo. So you can make it bigger or smaller if needed. Whoops, come back. There we go. And you're really trying to get it to fit within the frame. Okay, I'll make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And you try and want to get as little as hair as possible in the frame. Perfect. All right, and then go ahead and continue. Okay, and the next screen is going to bring you to all the different hairstyles available. You can see them listed along the bottom here, from long to short to curly to straight. All right, let's, there we go. I don't know if that's the right look for her. Let's start at the beginning. Okay, so for each hairstyle, you kind of want to adjust it so that it fits her face perfectly. Definitely not. Now, when I first opened this application, I was seriously on the floor laughing because some of these hairstyles are extremely ridiculous. And just go ahead and go through each one, see which one you like best. See how she looks as a blonde. Whoa, that's definitely different. That's a cute look. Up, oh, I think we found the look for her. Perfect. That looks great. Now, another great feature on this application is that you can actually email it to your friend. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hit this button in the left-hand corner, and you can either save photo to the library or email the photo. So first, I'm definitely going to save that photo to the library. Okay, and then I'm going to go hit that button again and email the photo to her and to myself, because I don't want that going anywhere. Now you can either enter the email address freehand, or you can hit add here. Oops. Cancel. Go back in there. Okay. Hit add, and let's see if it lets you choose from your address book. Oh, it doesn't. All right. So I'm actually just going to enter her address freehand. Okay, so this will actually send the photo to her. Oops. All right, perfect. And let's definitely make sure she knows it's from me. I don't think a message is required here. Um, it also gives you the option to actually share this photo on the iStylist website. I think I'm going to save her the humility. And I'm definitely going to send myself a copy. Just click that on and hit send and it's on its way. Now, this is a really great feature because if you want to keep the hairstyle or if you want to take it, or if you want to actually take it to your hairstylist, you can do that too. Um, some cool features to see added to this application would to actually have a search function where you can search for specific celebrity styles. Now, it says that celebrity styles are offered in all in the hairstyles here, but I have no idea which are which, so that would be really cool. Something else I would like to see, or something the developers are actually going to add, are the ability to share this hairstyles on your Facebook or MySpace page. Also, adding ratings are coming and style recommendations as far as color or anything like that. 
Also available soon will be the adding of eyewear, headwear, and accessories. Now that will be awesome. For more application information, go to appleiphoneapps.com. And if you like this video, subscribe to our podcast at iTunes. Once again, I'm Robin, and I'll sync with you next time.